Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. My name is Muhammad Amir, and you are watching AmirPredictions.com. After a very long time, I am here with you with another Photoshop tutorials because I was really busy in some projects. I have uh, done some short films, some documentaries. So today, I decided you to make another video for you. And uh, this is a simple image how you can color grade your flat image that you can take with your DSLR. So let's get started. All right, now I'm here with uh, in Photoshop CC and 2015. And as you can see, this is a very flat looking image that I have taken with 6D and 50mm 1.8 lens that I use for this image. First, uh, let me duplicate this by hitting Ctrl or Command J from your keyboard. And then go to the filter and down to the camera filter. Camera is a great filter that allow you to tweak the colors individual channels you can select any color uh, from the image and you can change uh, without doing any masking and anything else so uh, here is the image and you can see the settings f 1.8 and uh, 320 shutter speed iso 250 mm first let me click on the auto button and it's done a good job and the question is why I shoot flat image profile because flat image profile allows you to uh, grab some more details from the highlights from the shadows. So as you can see here is the default and here is auto. Okay, so what I need to do first uh, let me adjust my exposure a bit. Something around here. Yep, that's good. And now let's play with some other settings. Let me bump up the shadow so we can get more details from these trees as well. And white a bit. Maybe I need to down black. These sliders are behave totally different on all images. Maybe your image will take another environment and you have to uh, grab these sliders up and down and so you can see what setting you like. It's your uh, personal preferences. But what I like to do is add some clarity because I shot this image on a flat profile. So I need to add uh, clarity a bit. So maybe I need to add 20. Yep, that's perfect. Now let me go to some more settings like here. I mean HSL slash grayscale. If you want to convert your image in uh, grayscale, you can simply click here and boom, it's grayscale. But I don't want to convert this in a grayscale image. So let me first change the green value. And something like here. And then let me up some yellows as well. So you can see guys here you can get some more yellow colors. And if I change this so you can see here is orange looking. But let me just shrink here around 20 okay that's perfect now let me go to the uh, luminance channel and uh, play with some luminance as well so I wanna write these things here and blue channel as you can see I want to get some more details from here from this old looking light pool okay then let me click OK so here you can see a quick difference between flat and auto camera and some minor adjustments. So since I told you I take this image in a flat profile and I can get some more details from this image. So how we can uh, get more details. First let me make a new adjustment layer of curve. And now my goal is get some more details from this light pole so let me down a bit and maybe just up the brightest pixels from here and something here okay that's looking pretty good but it affect overall image and I don't want this so what can I do select the mask and command I or control I and now I'm using my regular brush tool and just 
let me change the brush size from here okay that's great so here is my brush tool and simply because I have this black mask here so I need to paint with white and quickly you can change your brush size and now I'm painting with white so you can see a subtle effect here if I zoom in and show you what I have done okay that's perfect that's really perfect okay, I need to get some more details here okay that's great and then all the way up let me just okay there we go that's looking gorgeous now okay perfect if i can show you on and off and you can see a good effect here but if you want to get more details from this light pool what you have to do make another brightness and contrast and clip this layer into this mask so once you clip you can play with the things like if I double click here and brightness and you can see only the mask area will affect it so I don't want to bright it up I just down a bit and contrast a bit okay that's looking great so if I just hold my control key and click here so you can see what I got before and after okay that's really perfect now let's do something good let me go to here and find the gradient uh, this is the gradient map you don't have to select the gradient map you have to select the gradient only so let's select the gradient and change the angle to the zero so uh, lights hit from this direction so let me change the color quickly here maybe something like a light green color okay that's good hit okay hit okay and you have to hit okay many times and then click here the blending mode option and you can choose overlay it's your personal preferences you have to make some experience with the blending modes and what look you want for your image what look you have uh, currently so you can choose a uh, different in that case let me try soft light okay that's good for me and I'm going to down the opacity something around 50 or so yep that's great okay that's the light coming from this direction so next let me take another gradient and this time I'm going with radial gradient and let me click here and bring it right over there and make it a bit larger I guess yep that's great and change the color to something look more dramatic I guess let me try the blue I'm not sure about it but just let me check what kind of look I get from here okay that's not bad and what if I scale it up a bit okay that's really sweet but let's try something else let me change this color to yellow hit ok yep it's a great effect that I want and then hit ok and the opacity I'm again going to make something around 50 or so yeah in that case 60 is good okay make a new blank layer and merge all the layers so this is the very crazy short key in Photoshop that I like most and I do most hold down the command alt shift and E at the same time and you can merge all the visible layer in one layer here okay so here is the image after a quick color grade and now let me apply some filters and for that I am using some third-party plugin you can download from the Google as for free as a demo and if you like this filter you can purchase so first let me click on the filter and then Nick collection I have this collection and I like to use color EFEX Pro 4 and let me click it here all right here is some uh, presets that you can apply on your image and let me try one by one and yeah, that's horrible and contrast only dark contrast and here you have to decide what kind of look you want for your image 
if you are looking for a really high contrast image then you can choose maybe something like this and if you are looking for a softer image then you have to apply something like this like a low key here and it's an amazing Monday morning but I don't like Monday morning all right now I'm changing between some colors here and uh, what if I click on the landscape uh, let me check something from here and again it's on your personal preferences I like this one because I got some blue on the sky here and some blue as well here and you can also change the blue tone from here like you want a different look sky here but I like number one in opacity you can also make how stronger you want for your image something around here is a perfect shadows there we go you can change the shadows and you can change some colors here as well here's the highlights if you want to make some more uh, dramatic or cinematic look but I like this uh, look and then hit OK there we go here is before and after okay I like this look and let me go to the filter and once again I need to come camera filter and then I need to down the exposure a bit and bump up the contrast maybe I need to down the highlights from here yeah, there we go and up the shadows because I don't want to lose the details in here in this area and a bit clarity and then hit ok there we go here is before and after that's look pretty good and now here is the final step make a new layer and uh, blending mode is linear light and fill with 50% gray and then hit ok now I need to grab my dodge tool and quickly I am just basically pointing the light directions where the lights come from and in that case the light is coming from this direction so I need to make some highlights here okay there we go and you always want to be on mid tone while you're doing this okay that's looking good make some more details here for the highlights and there we go making some more details on these edges and that's great make some more here that's perfect that's really good all right now here you can see if I closer look before and then after and I need to do some thing on here eyes as well because if you bump up the eyes you can see it from here yeah that's great so you can also clean the skin as well I'm just click on this layer under the gray layer and then I just come and grab my pass tool and select this bright pixel and down something here and like this there we go all right <clears throat> and I think I need to clean these little things as well that's bad selection and there we go nope it's not good oh, that's great and let me change this one as well it's not look the exact cup copy and select this one as well now I'm just selecting the area that I don't want and just dragging over there and Photoshop done this amazing job for me so quickly 
there. Create another here. There we go. So guys, here is the final image. Look before and then after. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any question, please write your questions in the comment section down below. And I'm also doing some training for the freelancing, how you can earn money from your home. You can check on my website and you can click on the link in the description down below. My name is Mohammed Amir. See you in the next video.